you can start an online collaboration session with AutoCAD 360 in which people that you invite can simultaneously view and edit your current drawing. To start an online collaboration session, on the Autodesk 360 ribbon, in the AutoCAD online panel, click the AutoCAD 360 web tool. The AutoCAD 360 website opens in a web browser, and you can sign in using your Autodesk ID. Click the Sign In link, enter your username and password, and click Sign In. Autodesk 360 is a free, easy-to-use sketching and drafting app that enables you to quickly view, create, edit, and share drawings using your web browser. It is perfect for both CAD experts who want to share drawings and for those new to CAD who are looking for a simple way to sketch and share ideas. The features in AutoCAD 360 are an evolution of AutoCAD WS. AutoCAD 360 is an always available, collaborative solution for team members that offers cloud-based drawing and editing tools. As the owner of a drawing, you can designate user type and permission settings when you invite others to collaborate, review, or simply view your work. And since it is on the web, it is accessible from anywhere using any computer as long as there is an internet connection. You can also use the AutoCAD 360 mobile app for mobile devices. The first time you access the AutoCAD 360 website, you will have to agree to the terms of service. Once on the website, you see a dashboard containing the drawings you have saved to your Autodesk 360 account, as well as recent activity. You can apply filters to limit the documents shown under recent activity. You can also click New to create a new drawing online or Upload to upload a drawing from your computer to AutoCAD 360. To open a drawing from the dashboard, simply click on it. You can also click See All Drawings to see all of the drawings available on your Autodesk 360 account and display them as either a tile view or a list view. Expand the Actions tool. Notice that you can open, download, share, rename, or delete any drawing. Click Open. If this is the first time you have used AutoCAD 360, you will see the AutoCAD 360 Help Overlay, which shows you how to access versions of your drawing, add and manage collaborators and reviewers, use tools to create and modify drawing geometry, and navigate your drawing. Once the drawing is open in AutoCAD 360, you can use tools in the Draw, Edit, and Annotate panels to modify the drawing. Tools in the lower left enable you to change Unit, Grid, Alignment, and Object Snap settings. When you click Display Settings, you can choose the Standard, Grayscale, or Classic AutoCAD display. Other tools let you pan and zoom. All of these tools behave nearly identically to those in AutoCAD. If you are using a three-button mouse, you can even use the same mouse buttons to pan and zoom. Selection tools also work the same as in AutoCAD. When you click and move the cursor to the right, you create a selection window. When you click and move to the left, you create a crossing window. You can even start many commands by typing. For example, you can type L to start the line command. You can also use dynamic input. Tools on the right let you control layers and properties. 
You can use the version history tool to take a snapshot of the drawing at any point in time. To share the drawing and collaborate using AutoCAD 360, expand the Sharing dropdown. Here, you can add collaborators, add reviewers, and manage sharing. Click Add Collaborator to open a Manage Sharing dialog. If you have collaborated with someone in the past, you can select their email address from the list. To collaborate with someone new, enter their email address. Then click OK. A few minutes later, the person you want to collaborate with receives an email informing them that you have shared a drawing with them. They can view the drawing online or download it to their local computer. In this case, they click on the link to view the drawing. When they do, a browser window opens and they are prompted to sign in to AutoCAD 360. If they do not yet have an account, they can create one now. If they have not used AutoCAD 360 before, they will need to agree to the terms of service. Once they have signed in, they can see the drawing that you have shared and can open the drawing so that they can view and edit it online using AutoCAD 360. This is a great way to collaborate with someone who does not even have a copy of AutoCAD. If they do have a copy of AutoCAD, they can download the drawing to their computer, work on it locally, and then upload a revised copy. In this case, let's see how to collaborate online using AutoCAD 360. Your collaborator sees that the desk is too close to the door. In the Layers panel, they switch to the special underscore annotations layer that is automatically added by AutoCAD 360. Then, the collaborator uses the Revision Cloud tool to create a revision cloud around the desk. Then he uses the text tool and adds a note, Move the desk. Since you are collaborating in real time, back on your computer, you see the revision cloud and the note. Since your collaborator was not specific about how far to move the door, you can communicate with them. In the Design Feed panel, click in the Create New Post field and type how far do you think it should be moved? And click Post. Your collaborator immediately sees your post in his design feed panel and can respond to you. He clicks the Reply button and responds about 18 inches and clicks Post. As soon as he does, you see his response. Now either of you could make the change. You can simply select objects and then click and drag to move them. For example, click and drag to create a selection window around the desk and chair. Then click and drag to move the selected objects and then press escape to deselect the objects. Click undo to reverse what you just did. You can also work more precisely by using actual AutoCAD 360 commands. You can type to start commands. For example, type M. In AutoCAD 360, you can see that there are a number of commands that start with the letter M. The Move command is highlighted. Press Enter to start that command. The program prompts you to select objects. Use a window to select the desk and chair. The program then prompts you to specify a base point. You can click anywhere to specify the point. Then the program prompts you to specify the distance. Move the cursor to the left, type 1 foot 6 inches, and press Enter. As soon as you do, the desk and chair are moved exactly 18 inches to the left. Since you no longer need the revision cloud or the text, you can select them and then click the Delete key. Note that to select multiple objects in AutoCAD 360, you must press the Shift key 
while selecting objects. Again, since we are working in real time, your collaborator immediately sees what you have done. When you and your collaborator are done working, simply close the browser. The next time either of you log in and open the drawing, you would see all the changes either of you made.